be honest, a lot of these pastors don't even believe in God. They can't. <laughs> but like, I love God, but I'm not selling merch. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl. I'm back here with another video. And today I have a very um, cool different topic. By the title of this video, you already see. I don't know what you're going to see because I don't know the title of this video yet. Um, basically, we're going to be talking about like people in the industry using God as like clout. And like why that's like weird. Like Alexis Sky. She's selling merch. Black I'm China. gonna Black China. She is she selling merch too? She's not selling merch, but she's like made this transition, this whole 180 to her um, career. Like now she's and she's going by uh what's her name? A born again Christian. Now she's Angela. And her Angela era. It yes, Angela era. Angela era is crazy. <laughs> it's heavily, you know, religious now. So Alexis Sky has. Mer I'm gonna put this where I'm showing them in here. So she has this merch right here, and it's called Her and God. Like, no, I would never buy that. It's just a logo. <laughs> I could put this on Canva. You know what I'm saying? Like, she probably did it in Canva real quick. Real quick. And it's okay. Like the merch is cute. Don't get me wrong. Like it's just basics attire. Like skims, but it says her. And I just feel like love God, but like why do you have to like market off of it? Like why do you have to make money off of loving God? You should just love God. Like why do you like I understand like you know if you're if you love God and you are a Christian you're gonna you know say it boldly and be expressive but like I love God but I'm not selling merch <laughs> like um and that's different from the one that says God is dope like that's totally different yeah I was just about to bring them I love God is dope, but that's like not that how do you feel about that um, I think it's very gimmicky. I think it's a trend yeah. right now to be to like love so God. spiritual and love God just because everybody I don't know how it became a trend. I don't know if they saw like Christians' lives doing drastically <laughs> better than theirs. I don't yeah. know. But it is a little it's very, very gimmicky. Like From and real I'm, Christians, it's weird. And it's not like I don't wanna belittle y'all christian journey like if you are 45 and just now coming to jesus great because at least you can't right that's true but it's just like all of a sudden now that everybody is riding this jesus wave and do you realize it was like right close to easter like y'all risen you're not you're not i feel like pastors and churches do it too though it's not just celebrities a lot of i'm i'm gonna be honest a lot of these pastors don't even believe in god they can't <laughs> like you can't behave the way that you behave and believe in god it doesn't go hand in hand okay. but it makes you money and it gets you a following and now people love you and now you're this person you have this title and you have this many followers sing an album in the book and it's just like it it works it gets you money it gets you places so yeah i'm gonna act like i love god but my lifestyle is gonna be completely different and contradictory to that and that's another thing like you can't be on instagram like promoting like you know jesus and then you at the club making it rain on everybody but you selling your her god what does it say whatever I don't know I just feel like it's just weird like and like you said like I don't want to like you know put down anybody who is really like that's your journey you found God at 72 great but like what I, am I are we am I wrong for wanting to know like why do you have to like put it all on social media and not even to help other people because like I truly don't believe that someone is being saved by buying a shirt that says her and God like her and God, what? Like, and she's also selling these journal, these journals. But it's like, okay, well, what? It like you're not even. She, there's I no am not context. Taking no uh, religious advice from Alexis Alexa Scott. Scott. <laughs> right. Like yeah. it was just less than like what three, four years ago. You were saying Fetty Wap was your baby daddy, and he's not. And it's like, oh, but like, God. am I hating? Like, is this hating? He's not. Like I don't. Know. Wait, I thought he's he was. Not. No, he's not her. 
I don't even know who Alexa Sky is. I'm gonna be honest. I've never the girl heard from of her Loving Hip Hop. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a Loving Hip Hop. Exactly. She was only like a season. She wasn't even on there. No, a she's been on. She's still on there. Oh. They have like a reunion special. You know, I watch TV. Yeah. But she's on there, and and like I don't want it to come across like I'm hating. Like I'm I'm trying to tell her how she should have a relationship with God because that's not what it is. It's just very odd. In, in different seeing her come out as a stripper bottle girl whatever she was and now it's her and god and selling shirts and shorts and selling so, okay like why you don't like, is it is it because she was a bottle girl and she was in that industry it's not even be where she came from it, it doesn't matter like it really doesn't matter where you could be a, a prostitute and you could be a pastor you get what i'm saying but it's just doesn't seem real it doesn't seem authentic at all like when she was on um this uh cooking show sierra gates and um she was talking about it and she was asking her questions about the bible and she was just like i mean yeah i'm just still staying in i don't know it's like you didn't really know like are you so it's like you're doing this to gain followers like she everything is just like right she gonna make this whole transition that's what i'm saying it does it just doesn't and like why, why and to be prepped on the interviews like get like love god and just love god like. i just feel like if it were okay it's i'm a gemini so i told her earlier like it's two sides of yeah me. one part of me feels like if you really are cultivating this deep profound relationship with god especially in the beginning stages mm -hmm. god calls you to a quiet place like he calls you to isolation and consecration for him to really have time with you why do you need to publicize every little a relationship oh. like when you get in a relationship with a dude on y'all first date you're not like oh look at right. me and babe i love him this my man my man no that doesn't come until you've had experience with experience with him until you've had time with him so why are y'all doing that to god because yeah. my thing is okay you got all the riches and you got all the glory if god take away that money that house that car that man are you gonna kid, be that are you still yes. gonna have that same faith and love that you proclaim so boldly in the world now the other part of me feels like you're renewed by the telling of your testimony mm -hmm. so if you are experiencing this with god and you just want to share the gospel so bad you want to spread the good news that's what we're called to do as disciples of christ right so it's like i get it but it's like girl mary magdalene and the woman at the well didn't go start selling shirts the minute jesus healed them like no. workout gear <laughs> like I just don't get it. It's like when you go to church for the first time and you realize, oh my God, I love God. Let me go be a preacher. Like, no, no that you, is you don't not have the experience yet. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's a lot. It, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot and it's just like, I don't know. That's no. I don't truly believe that she is out here really like practicing God and bringing people to the cross. And Angela black whatever whoever you go black. <laughs> her on the cross was crazy when she did that yeah. all, how did y'all feel when y'all first seen that how, was what like, was the first thing that came oh, to your I I said, was girl, yeah was like why why are you on the cross that's literally what I said. Jesus. that's all i can say i said girl and i just kept scrolling i couldn't i just couldn't like, and what goes through your mind be like you know i'm and then they have to take a picture of every little every time they're reading the bible let me take my reading the bible john 3 16. Like, <laughs> right. please stop you don't know nothing where you do you know galatians do you know hebrew you don't know nothing but john 3 16. there are more how many books in the bible is there answer that and one of the things that the bible because it's not chapter that like <laughs> <laughs> one of the things the bible teaches us is like you don't have to show your good works like they should just even... show without you having to do much like right. when, prime example i've known trinice since what the 10th grade and we but when i first met her like we like we didn't know each other but like you could just know someone who just has a relationship with god it was one time at the lunch table and you pray for your food like and i'm just I like okay it was it, yeah it was forever ago and then i the, ne the next time i seen her it was like that sunday and she was praise dancing at church and i'm like she go to my day school and it's just it's just like you should just know when you talk to someone you should know that they have a relationship with god just by talking to it i shouldn't have to post that i am uh in bible study or i am going to a revival if, like okay if you're promoting it cool that's different but you're posting every single time to let the world know for what 
I feel like the problem is the church wants to be the world now and the world wants to be the church. People like I've like, yep. seen that um, somebody was mad because, well, people were mad because Chandler Moore from Maverick City is now saying that he wants to go secular. Why? What's you wrong, found bro? all this success in being a gospel artist. What's wrong? You So basically you used God to get you like big and to get you be this mega star and now that you have the name you want to go secular why didn't you just go secular in the bit in the beginning because you know the market is oversaturated and you probably wouldn't have made it as an r&b singer like you did as a gospel singer i don't think he'd make it as an r&b singer i don't think he would either you don't heck no let me tell you he has a he has a it takes more than that him. it takes but more he's than no that. kelly price he doesn't have kelly price did both he doesn't have the look mm -hmm. and it's like you well you're saying if he came out as a like if he started out as an r&b singer yeah i don't know i honestly don't know but i do think that is weird that now all of a sudden that you have all this fame y'all was on the grammys and right Boy, now it's like oh let me make secular music why i don't think that's gonna work out i don't either Cause you've you've shown yourself to be so anointed and gifted in this area. Like God gave you so this gift gifted to oh use, and like you've been using it for His people. Why are we not good enough now? Why do you have to reach this whole mass audience? And I'm not saying that it's not people who don't do it well. PJ Morton, go <laughs> in my eyes, like nobody is topping him doing both secular and gospel. But it's just like, why make the switch? Like you're eating up the gospel charge. Nobody is really touching you in that area. So why do you want to go outside of it? And gospel is very hard to like get super really big at because they don't it doesn't sell like R and B does. Why? Whatever reason, but that you ooh, he did use Jesus. He did. That's Sorry, messed Jesus. up. Sorry to tell you, but you're not gonna <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. it's real messy out here it's real it messy is real messy it's real ghetto mm -hmm. don't be don't be doing that don't be starting off with my good guy once he, he take you with the, the pinnacle of your success then you be like okay sorry god going to the devil like i mean and not to say that r&b is the devil i'm not saying i shouldn't have said that i'm gonna cut it out i ain't saying good child but yeah okay so this was a very this wasn't a very long video at all but i just really wanted to just get something out there you know and stay tuned for more videos please keep the conversation going down below let, let us know your thoughts one more thought before she closes no for sure is not a christian podcast ah! it's not it's not so stop thinking that it is and i wish they would stop trying to make it seem like it is it's not it's just a podcast I think and they so talk too. about god i think i yeah. have to go into it with that lens like okay don't expect them to be doing sermons and go super deep like they just yeah. talk about god from their from their view vantage point and mm. theirs should not be yours i'm gonna just yeah. say that now they're still growing and it's very evident yeah great great girls very yeah, I, I like the podcast. Like the content. Mm -hmm. It's just don't don't look to them to lead your spiritual life because it's not gonna end well. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's just the harsh truth, honestly. They gotta stop making it seem like okay, we are these Christians and we're gonna lead you the way because you're not. They you, they you talk, talk about great things. They have some really yeah, they do, they do. But you to me, I just feel like you can't really be like, Oh, I went to the club last night, sucked on this girls, da 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 and but then but but the Bible says Okay, if the Bible says that, why are you doing these things? And we all do it, but it's just the fact that I'm not out here like y'all you know, on a like platform, like yeah, a big one. They a have a big, big following. One, a big one, a big one, a big one. They, like, I'm gonna keep watching them. It's about healing. Think of it that way. Yeah, and having those tough conversations. Mm -hmm. Go y'all. I like having tough conversations. I not don't. All. Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to stream Intimacy on all streaming platforms. Big announcement coming soon. Follow Shanice on TikTok and Instagram. Subscribe to her channel. It'll all be right here in the description box down below. Follow Shira. Damn it, she's mad. Damn it, I'm mad. I'm oh yeah, it's damn it, I'm mad. It'll be right here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And guys, I finally hit thousand oh, followers. Woo! Subscribe. Uh, so yeah, like, subscribe, follow, share. Bye. Bye.